Good morning. For the fourth time in two weeks, an opinion poll suggests the Conservatives have a comfortable lead over the Liberals. The latest poll was done last week by the Montreal-based Crop Research Firm. It shows the Tories are preferred by 49% of decided voters who were asked. The Liberals have the backing of 32% and the NDP is preferred by 18%. 17% of those asked said they were undecided. All four polls released in the past two weeks indicate the Tories appear to be headed for a majority government. For the first time since the election campaign started six and a half weeks ago, Prime Minister John Turner has talked about his personal future. In a TV interview in Guelph, Turner said he'll stay on and rebuild the Liberal Party no matter who wins the election. He says he'll stay on as long as the party wants him. There had been speculation that if the Liberals lose badly on September the 4th, and if Turner fails to get elected in Vancouver Quadra, he may resign and go back to the practicing law in Toronto. Quebec Premier René Levesque has appointed a former FLQ terrorist as his new communications director. Jean-Denis Lamoureux served 33 months in prison after a conviction of criminal negligence in the explosion of a mailbox bomb in Montreal in 1963. The explosion killed one man and maimed an army bomb disposal expert. Lamoureux worked as a journalist for several years, and he'll advise Levesque on communications matters. Statistics Canada says the economy is headed for a downturn. The agency's latest leading economic indicators suggest the economy will continue to grow over the next few months, but at a gradually slower pace. StatsCan says Canadians are buying fewer cars, and residential construction activity continues to fall. It also says the reluctance of consumers to spend is having an effect on manufacturing activity. The economy is being kept afloat, though, for now, in part thanks to strong export sales, especially to the United States. For the first time in a month, Etobicoke and its striking outside workers are going back to the bargaining table. Both sides are optimistic that a tentative contract can be ironed out. A break in the stalemate came early this week when union officials were reported to have offered to reduce their wage demands. Until now, the union had been seeking a 10% wage increase, but the city would only offer 6.5%. If a tentative agreement is reached today, the month-long strike could be over by as early as Monday morning. Negotiators for Canada Packers and about 3,700 striking workers have signed a tentative agreement. The workers have been on strike since July the 30th. Details of the settlement have not been released. Ratification votes are set for next week at the meat uh, packing company's 10 plants across Canada. The battle lines for the November 6th U.S. election were clearly drawn last night as President Ronald Reagan gave his acceptance speech at the Republican convention in Dallas. Reagan said if elected again, he'd continue his conservative policies of getting government off people's backs. He also charged the Democrats stand for big government, big taxes, and old liberalism. The TASS news agency reports that Soviet scientists have developed a bacteria capable of repairing the environmental damage done by oil spills. The bacteria can apparently eat up oil, even in the cold of the Arctic. The morning gold fixing in London, $350.35. The afternoon fix yesterday was $351.25, and the close yesterday, $352. The weather forecast for Metro Toronto, it'll be sunny today and tomorrow, a high today near 21, then cool tonight with a low around 10, a little bit warmer tomorrow with a high near 23. The probability of precipitation, zero today, tonight, and tomorrow, and the present downtown Toronto temperature, 14 degrees. And now, morning music continues with Peter Kay.